Well, this morning, an alleged teenage gunman charged in a deadly mass shooting at a Buffalo supermarket that police are calling a hate crime. Authorities now saying 18 year old Peyton Gendron was in military gear and was live streaming with a helmet camera when he opened fire with a rifle at that supermarket. I seen the guy go in army style bent over just shooting at people and I heard him shooting at people and then I saw three people laying down. We'll say 10 people were killed, including a security guard who tried to stop the suspect at the front door. Three others were wounded. Authorities say 11 of those victims are black, two are white. Gendron now charged with first degree murder, which carries a sentence of life without parole. His next court appearance is scheduled for Thursday. Now, Governor Kathy Hochul now slamming social media platforms in the wake of the live streamed mass shooting. These outlets must be more vigilant in monitoring social media content. And certainly the fact that this act of barbarism, this execution of innocent human beings could be live streamed on social media platforms and not taken down within a second says to me that there is a responsibility out there. Now, the governor says she will work to make sure social media platforms have a moral, ethical and legal responsibility to ensure hate cannot populate their sites. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden calling the deadly supermarket attack an act of domestic terrorism. In a statement, the president saying, quote, hate must have no safe harbor. We must do everything in our power to end hate fueled domestic terrorism. And Mr. Biden also praised law enforcement and first responders, adding that he and First Lady Jill Biden were praying for the victims.